Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today is part four of my Accounts Payable series. So if you haven't watched parts one through three yet, go watch those first and then come on back. All right, database is looking pretty good so far. We got our payables form here. We got our conditional format again. Now it's time to make a report so we can quickly see who's past due, and for how much, and how much is due in seven days, and 30 days, how much isn't due for 30 days yet, so we can plan what's coming in, right? Let's add a couple more items here. Uh, this guy's due in 30, this guy's overdue. Let's add, um, I'm gonna add another one for Jean-Luc. Let's say for 500, and we'll put this in here as due in the future, so 815. And we'll add one more person in here. Let's pick uh, Firefly Inc for 250 and let's make this one due in a couple of days so uh the 17th let's say okay looks good looks good now before we can build the report we have to build a query and the query will let us set up each item and then whether it's past due due in seven and so on and to do that we're going to use our friend the if function right it's the if function not the if, 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 if function. And I say that because a lot of times people send me emails or they post in the forums and everything's correct except they spelled the function wrong. I, F, F, it's not, it's I, I, F. That's why I say if, it's stupid and it's silly, but it hopefully will help you remember it, right? Immediate if, not if, 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 if. Okay, anyways, so let's create a query and get rid of you and i'm going to bring in the bill t and what do we want to see in here well in here let's bring in the payee id the paid date needs to be null so criteria down here is going to be is null All right i don't want any paid item showing up in this list now next column is going to be is this item past due and if it is, put the amount here. And if not, put a zero here. So in order to make that decision, I'm going to use the if function. All right, zoom in so you can see shift F2. So we're going to call this field past due. That's called aliasing. I'm giving this column, this calculated query field, a name calling it past due, right? It's going to be if the due date is less than today's date then comma put the amount due in here otherwise put a zero in here okay hit okay and let's check it and see it first let's save this guy save this as my payables queue all right yeah normally i try to keep these things singular but in this case payables is fine all right run it and there we go it looks like only the payable for customer one is past due. Let's verify that. And customer one is past due, and that is correct. Okay. All right, let's add another column now. Now we know here's the past due people. Let's add another one to see who is due in the next, let's say seven days. Very similar to what we did before. All right, so shift F2. Let's call this one due in seven colon if the due date is less than today's date plus seven, then put the amount due here. Otherwise, put a zero here. All right, hit OK, run it, and there you go. Now, we don't want to see this guy showing up twice, so we got to modify it just slightly. Right click, design view. So this one is less than today's date. So I need the other one to say, okay, if it's greater than or equal to today's date, right? So let's go back over to this guy. Okay, you gotta be less than date plus seven and the due date is greater than or equal to today's date. All right, and normally what I like to do with dates is I would reverse this. I like to put the greater than in the front. And that's just my style. That should work fine either way. There. Right, I like to have the smaller date to the left. That's just me. All right, hit okay. 
All right, save it and run it, and there we go. Now number six, payE6's item is only showing up once. Let's double check it, payE6. Oh wait, that's, hold on a second. That is, okay, payE ID six, and that's the bill ID. So payE6, I think is this one. It's gotta be this one here, yeah. And that's due in six days. Okay, all right, perfect. Now let's do a couple more. So here's due in seven. I'm just gonna copy and paste, whoop, not that. I'm just gonna copy and paste this guy copy and paste it over here and then we'll shift f2 all right so do in 30 is going to be greater than or equal to date plus seven and less than date plus 30. all right hit okay and then we'll run it looks good and then finally we want over 30 days okay so again Copy this one, and then we'll paste it in here, and then we'll shift F2, and then we'll call this one over 30. I do my best, by the way, to not start field names with numbers. I only use letters and numbers, and don't start your field with a number, because sometimes you can't. All right, so this is going to be if due date is greater than or equal to just date plus 30, and we can get rid of this. Unless you want 30, 60, 90, then keep going. Make as many of these as you want. All right, hit okay. This is called aged accounts payable, by the way. Aging means you see when stuff is due. I do the same thing with aged accounts receivable in my class. All right, and I think I've got a tech help video for that too. All right, looks good. Let's add one more just so we can see. Save changes, yes. Let's add one more person in here. Let's do, uh, let's do Enterprise Inc. For a hundred for one thousand seven hundred and one dollars, and the due date will be uh, let's do uh, the six twenty, and we'll check our query, and looks good. Okay, now let's take this and put this into a report, and we're going to tackle that in the next class. Now today is Thursday, the twelfth of June, twenty twenty five. Tomorrow's Friday, which is Quick Queries Friday. So we're going to cover this on Monday the 16th. So there, I fixed it. <laughs> and if you're watching this in the future, don't worry about it. Go watch it right now. But one of the benefits of being a member is that you can watch it right now because I'm going to keep recording it. But that is going to do it for today, folks. That's your tech help video. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you Monday for part five and tomorrow for Quick Queries Friday. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of Access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like level one, level two is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. 
Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject, and you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.